Huh? Oh, the egg's going! It's a... Our egg hatched into an egg. Would you like to give a nickname to the hatched mystery egg? Uh, yes? I suppose? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Snakewood Let's Play. We're on part three and we fell down this cliff. Well, this, I don't know what it is. Volcano? That used to be Vendon Turf. Uh, we did that at the end of the last episode and then we lost to Pestilence. So, uh, we've made our way back here. This time we're going to beat Pestilence because we've done a bit of grinding. And uh, hopefully, it's going to be that straightforward. I'm not going to do this sex because we did it last time. So let's get straight in. And take on the first horseman of the apocalypse. Yo, and remember, if you're enjoying this series, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe as well. And you'll be able to get this in your sub box every single time. And, dude, Pestilence looks like an absolute monster. She's got, like, little things coming out of her hands, though. I don't really get what they are. But still. Horseman Pestilence sends out Molder. Okay. I feel like this wasn't the one that destroyed us last time. It was, um, whatever came after. Well, I could be wrong. Dude, Grimer should look like that always. Like, that should be Grimer's shiny. Uh, so I can live another one of them bec because of... That's still disabled? Yeah, okay. We'll just get some more damage off, and then we will swap out, because he can't do any more damage, really. Let's go for... Alright, so let's a poison, and it's dead, so it's probably, like, disease type as well. So let's go for... Do you know what? I still haven't worked out what the fuck disease type is weak and strong against. Or whether it's got any differences to poison whatsoever. But being a ground type, that's going to make it good against the uh, poison. So let's go for Rock Tomb. Also decreases speed. Yep. Found. And Rock Tomb should finish it off. Oh, man. RNG, you saw. And it goes for full restore. Okay. So we have to do something a little bit different. So let's try Side Beam. Oh, of course, it's part poison. That's going to be super effective, you idiot. And it hurts itself in confusion. Good. So, Marley makes mince meat of Molder. Marley makes mince meat of Molder. Marley gains 153. Blah, 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 blah. Quillfish. Uh, no, actually, I think it might have been Quillfish that destroyed me last time. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, okay. So... Oh no, I didn't mean to go for Screwfuls, man. Oh well. It's already happened now. So we're poisoned. But that's fine, because... Let's see what Wing Attack does. If that's crap, we will swap out. Hey, you know what? That's not too bad. Let's stick in with that. Well, that's a powerful water gun, though. Jesus. I hope it hits us. Nah, it's gone for water gun again. So poison's probably going to kill us. Yeah. Oh well, good effort. At least we've got Fi Tai Hong who can finish this off. Fi Tai Hong goes for Thundershot. That's easy enough. Pretty straightforward. Pestilence is about to use another Molder. That's probably what killed us off last time, if I'm honest. Uh, so let's go for Thunder Wave. Keep this thing still, slow it down, and then work on it after that. It goes for Toxic. That leaves us poisoned. Uh, okay. So, we'll start with Thundershock. See how useful that is. Mm, uh, I don't know about that. Okay. So, you've done your job, really, because you've got the Thunder Wave off. I couldn't ask anything more of you. See, this is the problem, actually. Yeah, that's going to be super effective. Shit. Okay, I've done alright there, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Pishat, and I'm going to use the opportunity to heal up, um, do I have something that heals, po uh, heals poison? I don't think I do. We'll use a super potion on uh, Fi Tai Hong, and then hopefully it can survive long enough to um, destroy this thing. Uh, let's try a quick attack. 
Yeah, it might have to... Oh my god, the critical hit. It might... Oh, and the poison's gonna finish it because of the crit! Goodness sake! Okay, so we're gonna have to try a different... Uh, different methodology here. Or maybe just a smarter method, to be honest with you. Um, stop doing stupid things. So let's put Marley out front to take out that first Grimer, or whatever it's called. Uh, Molder. And then... Quillfish will get Pikachu out straight away. And then hopefully we'll still have... Um... <sighs> oh, what's his bloody name? Marley. We'll still have Marley to come back and take out that uh, last Molder as well. That seems like a tactic and a half. If I can actually get back to the uh, volcano, that is. And here we are. Yo, I love the fact this is just like a Charizard just like sat there. So, skip all this. Oh no, I fell down. Oh shit, fighting pestilence. She's got cool blue writing. Ah, uh, we're in. Right. Psybeam. Couple of those is going to finish this off. Goes for Harden. That's fine. Psybeam's physical. I mean, uh, special, so that's fine. Easy. Now it's going to go for Quillfish, cool which means we swap. Uh, to fight I Hong. Uh, I mean, we should just be able to Thundershock this to finish it off. Does it, I think if it gets the poison, we should be okay. Ah, uh, that's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Right. Thunder Wave. That's more just in case I don't get to use Pikachu to finish this battle off, in case he doesn't slide long enough. Somebody else can come in and hopefully get take advantage of that paralysis. So we're getting the Thundershock off. I think another one of those, if we survive this water gun, poisons, it's bad poison so it could get worse, but yeah, I think we're going to finish it with this. Easy. He says easy, I mean, not not very easy, it was quite difficult. <laughs> Pestilence of that, use Molder. So we're back in with Marley, who's at full HP and ready to take this guy on. So this is what it's all about, coming back with the tactics. Confusion, super effective. Goes for hard, and that's fine because it means confusion and side beam don't don't change their effectiveness from that. Toxic is gonna poison me, but I'm only gonna have to worry about it for one turn because confusion. Oh, he goes for the full restore. Right. Hurt by the poison. Side beam. It's okay. We've got this. And now finish it off with another confusion. There we go. And we've beat the first horsewoman of the apocalypse. Marley grows to level 18. What? You've certainly increased in power. Wow, that was that was painful. Nothing there. No matter, we shall leave this base for now and build ourselves another one. Come, Alicia! That's a shit name for a villain, Alicia. I'm so sorry, Ghost. I didn't recognise you in that disguise. Please forgive me for attacking you those times, but times have changed. I work for the Horsemen now, and I can't show you any mercy. I won't fight you this time, but next time I'll go all out against you. Alicia, wait! You've dropped something. She's not coming back. What's going on here? How do all these people know me? And why can't I remember anything about them? Wait a minute, what's that? And we've picked up a red thing. I remember what this is. It's a Pokedex. Pokedex. Which means now we can have a look at all the information about our Pokemons. Is this my brother's? He had one, I think. No, wait, he had completed his, I seem to remember. May had one that she didn't finish, didn't she? So this is hers. But what was Pestilence doing with Mace Pokedex? Hmm, I'll probably stand a good chance of finding out if I continue on my search! For now, I'll use this Pokedex myself. Good stuff. Oh, this is a new area. Or is it? Oh. Uh, Taihong fainted. Okay. No, it's not a new area. Oh, wait. Dude, I don't know what's going off right now. This is, this is trippy. So, I can't go... Where does that fence come out? Right, okay, so I've got to get Rock Smash and then I can go to where that Charizard is. I guess. So back to Vendon Turf Ruins, Marley Faints, that's fine. Uh, is there a way out of here? This way, or, or am I going to have to go all the way um, back and go around? Oh, there's a, there's a Zombo there, but how do I get to him? 
Oh, I can get to it. Oh, no, look, I can walk around and get to the Charizard. Charizard appears to be enjoying the heat here. You think about catching it, but it has a collar around its neck. You decide it belongs to someone and leave it alone. No. I wouldn't leave it alone. Dude, that's trippy as fuck. That's not where that leads to. Well, we've got HMO1, which is cut. Uh, so let's get that on a Pokemon so that it's ready for when we need it. Let's give it to... Uh, well, it's going to be Revenant then, I guess. Um, we'll get rid of Harden because who needs that? Okay, so let's talk to these people. I'm Larry the Looter. I've looted so much stuff that I've been... Take a look at my ways. Okay, so this is another on-the-go looter. Aha, great balls. Five of them. Uh, super potions we could do with topping up on as well. And that's it, because I can't afford anything else. No, thank you. Oh, wait, actually, have I got something to sell to you? It might be useful. Uh, yeah, Rock Tomb I don't want, because I've already got a Pokemon with Rock Tomb. Uh, right, what do we have? Special Plus, I'm not going to use that. I never use those in battle. Thump must be unlocked to use. Defend plus. Yeah, that can go as well. Paralyzed heal, super potion. Broken heart. Can't buy that, okay. Zombie liver, light potion. Oh, so I don't actually have much to sell them. It's an apocalypse after all. I suppose there's not that much going on. Isn't Endless Plains interesting? I came here to visit. Ah. Welcome to Endless Plains. Thank you for visiting. Please stay with the, within the force field. Huh? Oh, the egg's going! It's a... Our egg hatched into an egg. Would you like to give a nickname to the hatched mystery egg? Uh, Yes? I suppose? I... <laughs> I'm not really sure, to be honest. I seem to have an egg that's evolved into an egg, and I'm... I'm a bit confused, but... Nonetheless... I've already come up with a name because I am super smart at spooky names, and it's Eggtoplasm! Right, so this egg is a Pokemon then. It's at level 5. It's normal and bug. Blocks critical hits with its shell armor. Uh, no items. Ain't no hardening leech life. Well, oh, how much HP does it have? 22. This is a really strange Pokemon. Uh, let's put that out front uh, and get it trained up a little bit and see what happens. Can we get anywhere in... No. So that's as far as you can go in here is... It's a strange little area. Um, okay. So let's go back to... Well, first of all, let's go and see this zombie here. See if there's anything down here. Nope. And now I take this guy on if he wants to battle. Completely dizzy by the heat of the lava. It's dry bodies on the verge of catching fire, so perhaps you'd better move away. Ah, yeah. Okay, good idea. So I guess we're going back to Rus uh, Rusboro, yes. Not that way, though. Um, I don't... I suppose something could happen. Oh, I can't run away because I'm a lower level. I said no! I can't escape. I really don't want to be getting into these battles. Do I have repels? I don't remember if I bothered or not. Let's have a little look. Yeah. That'll do just to get me back to uh, Rustborough. I reckon. Now, is did I come in here before? This man has his brains delicately scooped out through a hole in his skull the size of a ten pence piece. Must have got a pretty small brain. You're beginning to suspect that zombies have an unusual sense of style when it comes to killing people. <laughs> Loot his corpse, yes! And we get Gamblefish! Cool. Uh, I don't know what Gamblefish is. I'm guessing it's a heal item. Doubles the money earned in battles. Yo. Uh, let's give that to Marley. Nicely done. Okay. Poképhone is ringing! Hey Ghost, it's me. Listen, I've got news for you. I've managed to reprogram an old military satellite and have got a working connection with Doofa Town. Because it's an island, it appears they're completely unaffected by the plague. Hey, full move there. What does that have to do with me? 
Your brother and May were seen in do for a few weeks ago. You should go and investigate. Okay, how do I get there? That's the tricky bit. You'll need a HM Surf and a Balance Badge to get there. I don't know where you can find the HM. There's a couple of survivors from Norman's gym. I think they might have a badge or two lying around. Look for them near Rusper and ask. Okay, we'll do. See ya. I'll call you later. Click! All right, let's get out of here. I feel like this zombie... I was once a zombie, but either Glee saw Dantelion has carefully removed all its bones through its nose and now it can't move. Ah, I see. That's why it's not battling me then. Right, so... We're supposed to be looking around Rustborough to find uh, some sort of clue of where to get Surf. No, some sort of clue of where to get the badge. However, I remember that there was a cut there, so we're just headed north to see what there is around here before we go back down. In fact, it could be that this is the right way to go anyway. Uh, no, there's a rock smash getting in our way there, so it's not the right way to go. Uh, let's have a quick talk to this lady on the beach. I'm the only trainer left alive from Petalburg Gym. That makes me a, the gym leader. It means I need to hold its honour by defeating you. Oh shit! This is a gym battle! Does that mean she's going to give me a badge if I beat her? Man, I don't think, my te I don't think I've healed my team up. Right, okay. Well, I think this might be a gym battle and that's interesting. Got critical hit, comes off. Leftovers is going to be helpful. Quick attack. Oh, man. That Zangoose is a monster. Uh, okay. Revenant goes in. Let's see if we can't beat it with a bide. Leah lowers our defense, and it's heightened its attack. Right, so it's not going to bide. Bide's not going to cut it, because it's just going to keep high... Hiring its attack until it can just one-hit me. Okay, I'm going to have to come back here once I've healed up, I think, but... Let's get Scroofles out there anyway and see what happens. Uh, wing attack. Oh, another one. Well, at least we managed to beat Zangoose. That's something. What does she have next? Delcati. Right, we can beat this. Come on. Start off with a super potion. Use as a tract. Ah, oh, god damn it. Uh, I don't think I have any revives. Okay, so let's go for wing... Mobitized by love. Do I have something that can get rid of that? Nah, immobilized by love. I feel like I haven't, but it's worth having a look, right? Yeah, none of those things are going to do that. Uh, well, we keep going then until sleep ends, and then just hope that we wake up. There we go. Wake up in time to get some hits off. Uh, quick attack. Or wing attack. Okay. Now we can keep healing up because I bought those um, potions. However, I'm a little bit worried that it's going to heal up once I get it down to low health anyway. So let's go for quick attack. And again. That's it. It, it keeps lowering my attack. It's got that double slap, which is actually doing loads of damage. Ah, sings off. Okay, so we're getting another potion. Double slap. Ah, that double slap's a piece of shit. It's hitting me three times. That's a triple slap. Look! Come on. Oh, that's a joke. Going for double slap again. Hits twice. Are we waking up yet, or what? Oh, well, there we go. Well, that was a big waste of time trying to win that battle. Well, that's okay. Because we're back to the Pokemon Center, and we can get straight back up there. And this time, we've got the big guns with us. Including... Ectoplasm! Wait, where's she gone? Oh my god, she's not there anymore. Oh, was she further up? Dude, that scared me a little bit. Alright. Beat this zombie while at it. Ooh, Shrivel Saw! <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, you're not going to beat Shrivel Saw. However, Scroofles can with its wing attack. Yeah. That's the best zombie Pokemon we've seen so far. Shrivel Saw kicks ass. Oh, I didn't see what that was. Charmy Worm. Ah. Dude, Char Black Charmeleon looks amazing.
That's cool. In with Pisha. We should be able to buy it to finish it off. There we go. Hey, and Pisha Chat is evolving. Get in. My Tiana on the team. Fucking awesome. I love my Tiana. Especially when you learn to crunch. Da -da -da. There we go. Zombie disappears as expected. Right. Um, what did he have at first? Zangus. So let's switch Pishacha up from. Uh, and then we can take on this chick again. Because apparently she's a gym leader. So I kind of feel like we should beat her. Because she might give us a badge. Alright, so let's sand attack. That's it. One more of those. Okay. So now even if Pishacha doesn't beat it, at least there's a good chance I'll be able to get somebody else to come in and have a go. I feel like it was super effective and it's not really didn't really do that much. So I think Pishacha's gonna get this for us. Come on, Pishy! Fury Cut holds it off by leftovers means that it can survive another one of those Fury Cuts. Uh, so that's good. Leah, doesn't matter because the bite's going to finish you off. Nice one. Oh, now we've got Delcat in. So let's put in Marley. Uh, I think Inside Beam is probably going to be a good move against this. A double slap and ground. Psychic, like double slap's gonna be normal. So, you know what? It still does quite a bit of damage to be fair. To say how much of a bag of shit double slap really is. Well, Side does nothing, but it does get the confusion off. Okay, so let's try Rock Tomb. Delcat is confused and it hurts itself. Rock Tomb's gonna lower its speed, so maybe it won't go first next time. Now, let's get Sand Tomb out so it gets hurt every turn. And we'll just grind it down so it gets hit by the sand tomb, hit by the confusion, and now rock tomb again. Yeah. We've done that tactically very, very well. Nicely done. And normal girl Laura. I couldn't win. Puff puff, you've earned this, go and take it. Balance badge! Yes! That's good. So, make a note of that so I can remember to put it on the layout, because I will forget otherwise. Balance badge. That badge increases the defense of all your Pokemon. I'm sorry I don't have a TM to give you. The badges are all I could escape with. Now, go and prove I wasn't just weak. Go beat some zombies. Go kick some zombie ass. Yeah, we got a balance badge. Well, that was an unexpected uh, gym encounter there, but it's all good. I don't remember you. Uh, yeah, okay, I do remember talking to you, actually. So, it doesn't look like anywhere news opened up. Um, let's just get the quick heals off. Uh, I couldn't get in that building before, either. Um, and we're heading back to Duford. Because that's where we need to surf from. Even though we've not got the things we need to surf. So, I mean... Ugh. I don't know, let's just go there anyway, and see where we end up. Accuracy plus. Um, yeah, I don't know how we're going to get across the water yet, but I'm guessing that's something that's going to... We're going to work that out. And obviously we've got the Petalburg badge, so maybe we can get in Petalburg Gym, if the, if the entrance has been cleared now. And maybe that's where the HM is. Although I seem to remember that you can get Surf from... Um, Originally, you get Surf from Wally's family or whatever. Yeah, I think so, in this house. So let's try that out. Well, there's no one in here, uh, but there's a potion crate, so let's take one of them as we can. Uh, yeah, and I guess we'll have a quick heal as well. And just take a look at... So the gym's still full, so we can't go in there. Uh, ah, this was where that legless woman was, which unless she's got something new for us, which I doubt, because she's, you know, she's not moved anywhere, has she? Uh, so she's not got anything to give us. Um, let's try... Uh, nothing around there. 
I, see, now I don't know whether to go back to Old Dale. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go back and see if there's anyone new here that can talk to us. This time's pretty safe with barrier, blah, blah, blah. Ah, oh, now I've already healed up. I didn't need to do that. Uh, see if anyone here's got anything for us. Oh, you're going to show me where the Pokemon is. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, every moment you spend outside is risky. You could, yeah, go through by Pokeballs. Uh, so you're not... None of you are going to give me it. Unless this guy up here wants to give me it. There's nobody else really anywhere. Right, okay. Well... <sighs> Ah, uh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't talk to the people on the beach. Over here. That's what I didn't do. So let's make that a thing, because I guess they might have... Who knows? One of them might have surfed over and be able to give us the HM. I don't fucking know. Uh, so... Just talk to everybody. I've lost everything. Aha, I remember you. You're a looter. I battled you. Try to extract some salt from the seawater. If a zombie tastes salt, it turns back into a corpse. Haitian legend says so. Yeah, I remember you. Ah, there's a boat here. Can't I just get on the boat? I just tried to get Mr. Brian to do food because it's an island and zombies can't cross running water. But Mr. Brian is trying to eat me. Yeah, so that's not working out. Yo, so we've got to work out where we get the HM from. And I can see that this is going to be a bit annoying. What I'm thinking is, since we've got cut, let's look how... Uh, there's probably a tree in this forest that, I've, that can be cut that I've not cut. Aha, there. Uh, and see if there's any items around that we couldn't get to before. Like up there. I see you, item. I see you. Because who knows, that could be it. Great ball. Well, that's fine too. It's not quite what I need. Wait, there was an item down there. Can I get to it if I jump over that? Yes, I can. Get away from these fucking battles. And we have... Attack plus. God's sake. Right, so... Not useful then, basically. Come on. Just sell me Surf, Larry. No one... Hmm. This might be something that we have to investigate and then come and sort out on the next episode, because... Who didn't I talk to? There was a karate guy north of Rustborough that I didn't talk to. I just ignored him. So we can always try that out. Uh, let's just have another look in here. You don't do nothing. There's a bag up there. Medical kit. Uh, and nothing up here. There were some hidden items up here, but I think I, I think I got them all. Let's get out of the grass there. Yo, so we're going to talk to that guy north of Rustbury, and uh, whether he's got Surf or not, that is the last person we will be converting with. And that will be the end of the episode. So we are approaching the half an hour mark, and I'm going to try and keep these all under half an hour now. Uh, if I can. Wait. I remember there was a battle in there I didn't do as well because I kept getting bodied. I'd probably go back and do that now because you never know. That might give it to us. Also, uh, I can't go in there yet. Maybe maybe later on. Okay, we use cut. Uh, where was he? Oh, he was up here. I remember. Dead guy's got a Pokeball on him. Let's see what it is. Pokeball contain Magikarp. Yes, we will take the Magikarp. We don't have enough room for the Magikarp. Okay. Well, that's that then. Whoa, maybe the Magikarp knows Surf. That is an interesting prospect. And we're going to find out whether it does or not. On the next episode. Part 4. Coming at you. This one's going to be coming up on... Alright, let's think. Wednesday. Sunday. This one's going to be coming up on the Sunday. So, come back on Wednesday. When Part 4 is going to be up. And you are going to see whether or not we have got ourselves... Surf on this Magikarp. But we're going to get a Magikarp and we'll manage to level it up and get a Gyarados, so that's a good thing to add to the team. 
Thank you all very much for watching. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, find me on Twitch at Saint Denial because I Twitch uh, live streams of uh, Fire Red and stuff on there as well as on uh, YouTube. I do stream it to YouTube, but I always try and put more attention to Twitch. And I'm also going to be streaming some RuneScape soon as well, so look out for that. Thank you all very much again, and I will see you all next time for part four. See you later.